Good morning, LT, and welcome back to Vanguard TV. I'm Megana Kuchpudi. And I'm Dean Sainju. On today's episode, we'll cover Angel Tree Program, Lebanon Trail's FFA organization, and much more. What's up, class of 2023? This is the Senior Bonfire. <laughs> Angel Tree, hosted by the Salvation Army in an annual initiative created to help brighten the holiday season for children throughout the U.S. Tanvi Maddie learned how Angel Tree can benefit schools that participate in the seasonal program. Each year, Lebanon Trail participates in the Angel Tree program to contribute to helping hundreds of thousands of children nationwide. Clubs and organizations such as Student Council, DECA, volleyball, and choir as well as staff departments donated items to help fulfill holiday dreams for others in need. I decided to participate in Angel Tree because I think that it's important to be able to give kids, you know, a good Christmas, to be able to give them presents. I grew up in a place where I would be one of those kids who I would need people to donate things to me. So I think to be able to be in a place now where I can give kids that, I, I think it's important. Many students at LT participated in Angel Tree to help the community. A lot of clubs do it, so it's like many children like in our community are gonna receive clothes and things that they want and really need during the holidays. This year, Lebanon Trail helped 35 families with help from both staff and students. I'm Tom V. Maddie, reporting for Vanguard TV. FFA, an agricultural organization, prepares young minds for future careers that include veterinarians, business leaders, and entrepreneurs. FFA welcomes students from all over America and seeks to open pathways to their futures. Blakely Jamison has more on this program and how it benefits students at LT. Established by a group of young farmers in 1928, the National FFA Organization, also known as the Future Farmers of America, is a program created to benefit a variety of students throughout the nation. Students involved in FFA are able to attend different events to showcase their skills in agriculture while engaging with their communities through speeches, veterinary services, engineering feats, and more. FFA is very study driven if that makes sense you have to prepare a lot outside of school we have our team which is a great group of people ffa helps in life because it's study but this is going to be with you for the rest of your life students involved in ffa are able to attend different events to showcase their skills in agriculture while engaging with their communities through speeches veterinary services engineering feats and more I'd like to be a veterinarian, so FFA offers multiple events that you have to prepare for, you have to study, and then we also have a competition in the springtime, and then you get to be hands-on and receive feedback from the judges. FFA has continually made an influence on multiple students throughout the years by pushing them to work hard for their upcoming careers. FFA prepare me um, by having discipline, by studying, using my time wisely, and just overall being a better leader. Many past students who have been part of an organization have experienced significant benefits that have prepared them for their future endeavors. I'm Blakely Jamison reporting for Vanguard TV. The end of the football season doesn't mark an ending for the Lebanon Trail cheer team. Faith Dolores has more on the team's upcoming performance and competition and how the squad continues to impact school spirit at LT. One thing that LTHS is known for is its high-spirited cheer team. Vanguard TV highlights the squad's impact on the school as well as their recent performance. It's about working super hard as a team to push our physical and mental capabilities while also having fun and team bonding. And it's really just about pushing our limits and bettering ourselves. Cheer competition is about having fun times with all of our teammates. We're going hard all out and, you know, just having fun and competing against other schools. In order to prepare for the performance, the LT cheer team has spent a lot of after hours practicing and using different techniques. We practice every class and we have an additional practice after school Mondays. We're preparing by, of course, practicing a lot. We are conditioning, stretching, doing all the things, just constant repetition of our routine and just overall pushing ourselves and working super hard and a lot of practice. Cheer team members said that the school performance will help them after high school by training them to participate in cheer at the collegiate level should they opt to do so. I would like to cheer at the college level if I make a squad. 
They also said that this impacts their lifestyle overall, making them gain skills such as organization and punctuality. So our biggest goal is always just growth and like what did we do well and what do we need to work on and then how can we um, make an action plan to do better. As the competition approaches, the LT cheer team said that it is training efficiently and diligently with the overall goal being to capture first place at the event. I'm Faith Dolores reporting for Vanguard TV. Winter seasons have yielded early success as LT's winter sports teams continue their early games and tournaments. Ethan Wu highlights the recent achievements of winter sports teams as well as upcoming games and competitions. The ongoing winter sports seasons have yielded many achievements in recent games and tournaments. After placing fourth overall in the Mavs Classic Tournament and most recently winning against Greenville High School on November 29th with a final score of 67-58, the boys basketball team currently has a 4-5 record. The boys will match up against Seagullville High School this Tuesday in a home game at 7.30 p.m. Moving on to the girls, the team currently has a 12-2 record after beating Melissa Concordia Lutheran Newman Smith with falling to John Paul II High School with a final score of 53-45 at the Highway 5 tournament last Saturday. The girls will play against Argyle High School in the Argyle Gyms this Tuesday at 7.45. Wrestling continues to be competitive in recent meets and tournaments. After going up against Emerson and Independence last Wednesday, the Blazers competed in the Mike McCready Memorial Tournament last Saturday and returned with the girls placing 9th out of 25 teams and the boys placing 16th out of 34 teams. Janiah Bazin and Eva Hampton placed 2nd while Destiny Wen placed 4th individually for the girls. Dehuan Hollins, Maxwell Parman, and Ronan Austin all placed 6th individually for the boys. Wrestling will compete in a tri-meet against Liberty and Heritage this Wednesday at Liberty High School at 6 p.m. I'm Ethan Wu reporting for Vanguard TV. Thank you for watching Vanguard News. I'm Dean Sainju. And I'm Megana Kuchipudi. Blaze it, LT! Now watch us, watch us dance.